Hey guys, David Cavanaugh, Certified Financial Planner here. Just thinking uh, this morning, kind of on a conversation I had you know, earlier this week, but you know, really, you know, the gist of that conversation was more so on how you know, as investors, how we evaluate, you know, our our investments, how we're allocated, and what our holdings are within the portfolio. And you know, this particular conversation, it was you know really looking at you know how. You know kind of fixated on on what happened last year 2022 we all know that was a bad year um you know even though we're in august and you know markets are well underway to a, a decent recovery and you know bouncing off of the lows you know pretty significantly from last year now um you know but the conversation was looking at you know one particular fund and it was you know down last year not out of line for the market and and certainly for you know the the indexes and, and the benchmark for this particular fund but you know, why do we still own it that was a question uh, when it did so bad last year and i said well you know let's let's talk about what the fund is you know what it's invested in and, and why it's in the portfolio and i said and by the way you know we're in august and this this particular fund is you know up north of 30 percent this year and you know not quite back to um, to where it was before you know the peak before we we dropped last year but you know getting very close to to being there and i said you know we can't just focus on what happened last year we have to look you know we had to pull the the layers back and you know look in totality of how you know in in the case of a fund how it's performed how the asset class the um you know the purpose of that fund the objective how it's done over time versus you know the index and its benchmarks so I think you know a lot of times as investors we you know we want to make investment decisions you know with with you know somewhat of some blinders on sometimes and just looking at near term what's happened last year and if it did really well then it means we want to be in it or you know if it did really bad it means we had to get out of it and, and sell it and you know we need to distinguish in this conversation between you know individual equities versus you know funds whether it's an index fund or you know a, a mutual fund but uh, you know i think we also need to understand the relationship between um, performance in the near term in the past versus you know where the market trends are and where things are going and those are things that as a as a financial advisor and wealth manager that i do you know we're constantly evaluating the investments that we're in the mix between you know our allocation, how much we're invested in each um, fund or asset class or stock. And then, you know, importantly, we are rebalancing that on a, on a periodic basis so that we do take advantage of the normal swings in the market, um, buying high, selling low is that old cliche, but it, you know, it's what we wanna do and we wanna make sure that, um, you know, we are doing things at the right time, making the right time. So just what was on my mind today, I think, um, you know, when you look at your investments, don't, don't do so with blinders on, but, you know, make sure there's a purpose to the uh, stocks you own, the funds you own, the allocation, the mix that you're in. And, you know, I think you'll find, you know, better investing success in life for doing so. Hope you guys have a great day. Get out, enjoy uh, some of this hot, humid weather that we're having. Hopefully it'll break soon. We'll chat soon.